I want to revisit something wonderful. About a year ago, we got a hold of a, a local news clip from Michigan of a delightful man named Freddie. Frederick Miller is his name. He was in line for the grand opening of a new cannabis dispensary. Cannabis was legalized in Michigan, and Freddie was ready for it. I want to try some, like, edibles. Okay. Like, I'm really interested in that because my experience with only Henry had, like, maybe home-baked, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to sit on the couch and smoke a bowl and, I don't know, check out, like, the new Dracula on Netflix. <laughs> I've heard good things, man. I'm excited. So naturally, I set out to find this magical creature and welcome him into my life. And everyone loved him. And it's been a year since then, so we want to catch up with Freddie. And with us now from his new job at Canavista Wellness in Buchanan, Michigan, is Freddie Miller. Hey, Freddie, how are you? Hey, Jimmy, man. It's been a long time, dude. <laughs> Feels like it's been 30 years since I saw you last. Congratulations yeah. on the... On the job, when we met you, you were in line at a dispensary, and now you're working at one. How did that happen? I have no idea, man. You tell me. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went on your show, man, and uh, just next thing I know, dude, I'm getting calls, like, left and right from dispensaries. And, uh, I mean, Jimmy, I was, like, unemployed living with my mom. God bless her. But <laughs> <laughs> now I've been offered, you know, so these jobs and and uh, I met Rick from Canavista Wellness because he invited me out to be his uh, uh, his uh, first recreational customer, right? And uh, man, oh, I just love, I fell in love with him. He's, uh, you know, he owns his own pot store. He's the nicest guy in the world. Um, geez, man, I don't know. <laughs> How's your mom? Are you still living with your mom or did you move out? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I moved out, yep. Moved out. <laughs> Was she happy? Years old, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's super happy for me, man. She she's stoked. Yeah. So, what's oh. your job title there at the store? What do you do specifically? <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm supposed to be a bud tender, but my boss calls me a weed ambassador, which I think is way more fitting. You know. <laughs> is that because he doesn't want you touching the cash register? Why Why are you not a bud tender? <laughs> oh no, no, I know I bud tend too. Oh, but it's okay. a fancy All right. title, yeah. Um, you, you know, with the... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> do, do you get an employee discount at the store? Oh, yeah, man. Dude, in Christmas time, he gave us 50% off. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, Rick sounds like a real Santa Claus. Off, and then some time off, too. <laughs> What's the hot strain right now? What are you recommending for people right now? Oh, man. Well, oh, dude, I've... You know, you, weed just used to be weed, you know. <laughs> and then I got yeah. to have a dispensary, yeah, and I've fallen in love with a couple of, I don't know, I got this indica called Grim Bastard. And I like the Grim Bastard because it's a real paralyzer, man. <laughs> in, fact, uh, but in fact, Jimmy, um, I, Rick lets me write a, a newsletter for, you know, I get to do a piece for the newsletter where I get to review strains and uh, pair them with horror movies. So, uh -huh. uh, Fittingly, the Grim Bastard went right along with Night of the Living Dead because it also got insatiable munchies, man. <laughs> so you're, you're not going to be the only one eating, right? <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, well, you got a good point there. You made the cover of a magazine. We have a, the cover here, I believe. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Scentsy magazine, yeah. Scentsy, okay. <laughs> yep. And I actually, I met the, um, the publisher of Scentsy magazine through... Your little clip, man. Um, she invited oh. me up to a couple of events up in Michigan. It's pretty awesome. Jamie Cooper's her name. <laughs> do you have Do you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or anything like that? Girlfriend or Freddie? boyfriend? Yeah. Oh man, dude, I've been single for like eight years, bro. <laughs> was that because you were living with your mom and it was weird to bring people home? <laughs> that might have something to do with it. Maybe. I mean. You know, my mom's really sweet. I'd bring anyone to come home to meet my mom. <laughs> I sure would w wish you would be the bachelor next time around. I think that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm going to speak to ABC about that. <laughs> well, I have to say, I just wanted to check in I because I, I, I needed a dose of positive energy. And once again, oh. you delivered, Freddie. So thank you very <laughs> Me much. Too, man. It's hey, great to I see you. Can I one real quick? I got a joke for you. Oh, great. So, okay. the insurrection, right? Cool, yeah. So yeah. I had this brilliant idea. I was smoking the other day, and I thought, man, if I could just insurrect the insurrection, 
<laughs> and get in there and maybe, I don't know, smoke a lot of weed and talk to a lot of disgruntled people. <laughs> and then you could stop the insurrection before it ever even started. What do you think about that? Well, um, I think it needs a little bit of refining. I think my... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you need to sleep on. <laughs> All right, thanks, Freddie. Hey, be safe. Don't forget to sanitize your bong, okay? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you be All right. Baby. All right, that's Freddie. Thanks, Freddie. Jimmy Kimmel Live. <laughs> this is ridiculous.